Everyone's here today to hear the annual Supporters Direct Supporters Summit. It's our kind of flagship event where we invite supporters and, and, and representatives from all the various work we're undertaking in Scottish football and Scottish sport. We're kind of giving people the ammunition, the inspiration to go out and, and kind of replicate some of the success stories we've heard today from the likes of Foundation of Hearts um, and Portsmouth Supporters Trust. But then all the workshops are there to give them the kind of the hard skills so you can get the, the soft inspiration in the morning and the hard skills in the afternoon through the workshops, whether that's about fan representation training or support today as an officers or how to raise capital for your support to stress. If you're going to call it a club, then it's something that people belong to, not something that's owned. So if we can't have full supporter ownership of clubs, we have to have at least supporters involved and supporters direct obviously that's what its whole mission is is to help supporters be involved in the running ownership of clubs or at least to have a very very good progressive voice in clubs and they've done fantastic work over the years it's really really important that both the organisation of Sporters Direct and the work they do can continue and go from strength to strength. I mean I spoke about the balance and that I think it's important that the, the board that our uh, foundation has the right mix of skills. You can be really true to the fact that you're a supporter, you're passionate about it, you want to put your time in and make it happen but the business head has to kick in to say you won't get overtaken by that emotion and you'll always look back to the numbers to say are the numbers stacking up for us do we have something in place here which is going to have longevity about it, which means the club's robust going forward? Project Brave is the title that we've given to um, our focus on trying to develop elite young players who will ultimately pull on the blue shirt and play for Scotland. Uh, we have a number of academies across Scotland um, linked to our football clubs playing in the, the SPFL and what we're trying to do is to work with those clubs to develop more, better players for the future success of the Scotland teams. The game is starting to wake up to um, how it needs to evolve and how it needs to keep supporters interested and how important supporters are. So we're starting to get recognised as stakeholders. Whether there's an opportunity for community ownership or not, having a trust, having a democratic and a properly structured organisation that can hold structured communications and dialogue with the clubs and with the governing bodies is hugely important. I think that's just going to grow and we'll see trust play more and more, uh, play, play more and more of a part in, in Scottish football. It's really interesting to, to be at the conference to hear uh, the stories and the viewpoints coming from different angles, from journalism, from within the sport and, and elsewhere. What I've enjoyed the most is listening to the Hearts boys talk about the, uh, the Hearts Foundation and, and, and their story which I thought was inspiring. It was very interesting to hear Mr Reagan speak as well on his plans for Project Brave. Certainly as Motherwell Football Club has had a huge passion for youth development, it's interesting to see the thoughts behind that. We've just come out of the session a bit liaison and all of a sudden which was very informative and I really enjoyed it. I confirmed everything that I knew about the support of liaison officers and also hopefully it's encouraging other clubs to, to go ahead and do it. And I think they said they had nine, but well, we've got 42 clubs, so there's a bit to go. And so hopefully the people will go away and, uh, you know, try and encourage their clubs to put an SL in place. It's a very uh, worthwhile initiative. I applaud Supporters Direct Scotland for putting this event on today. Uh, it's been a good attendance, some really uh, interesting speakers, a lot of opportunity for fans to engage, um, and I would encourage as many as possible to, to join the bandwagon and to, to sign up with Supporters Direct Scotland.